Okay, welcome to my RNA World Simulator. So for those who are not familiar, um, in biology, in biological science, there's the idea of, it's a, it's a theory, but it uh, has a lot of credence that uh, back before complex biological life and slightly after the arise of uh, self-replicating molecules, like RNA, there was this uh, RNA world hypothesis that the actual living things in the world were just these molecules. This is before DNA, this is before, again, complex multicellular or even sil simple multicellular life. It was before organelles. It was before, um, it was just a, a world of complete chemical, uh, chemical interaction at this point. And uh, the theory says that actually RNA by its nature is an evolutionary active active entity meaning that RNA just by itself has the ability to combine with other RNA strands interact with other RNA strands and disassociate other RNA strands through chemical interactions now in the RNA world hypothesis um, the original quote organisms unquote were actually these RNA molecules and they had quite a violent and volatile existence so uh, they dominated the landscape and they kind of uh, essentially through their interaction and their actual quote violent unquote chemistry they through several millions of years of uh, growth and evolution actually led to the evolution of more complex life so what I did was I created this simulator where I can uh, essentially sort of simulate the interaction between RNA in this sort of enzymatic soup that exists. Um, I wouldn't call it enzymes, I'd call it more like pre-enzymes, not totally in the biological sense, but essentially uh, these RNA molecules, when they touch each other, they interact in certain ways. Uh, and this demonstration, I can essentially add more RNA to this um, RNA world. And what will happen is you'll see this colliding sort of occurring where these RNA are sort of fighting. I added this effect. And essentially they can uh, interact and either lengthen each other or destroy each other. Essentially the idea is in the uh, general parlance, uh, survival of the fittest is still applies in this world. And so again, the en enzymatic additions add really don't add too much to this, but the additional of RNA based on their proclivities, which I've added us a, a little bit, this have this idea that they want to interact with certain other certain RNA molecules or disassociate other RNA molecules. And their decision at this point is sort of random, but the idea is to add more complexity to the simulation so that. Uh, their decisions can lead to actual more complex evolution. Anyway, this is sort of just a simulation I made. I gave some dynamic flexibility to the molecules and a few other um, uh, details. All right, well, thank you.